Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Rose, we're getting back to Lovecraft Country and Secret World Legends, and here we are at the Assault of Orochi Tower, hanging with our good friend, Diranto here. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be level 6 and the end of the second block of the tower. Afterwards, we'll be doing the interludes and bonus episodes. We'll get to at the end of this episode, be about the scheduling in the future, because some of you are probably confused due to the erratic and sometimes out of order uh, recording I do. The order has been different than how you might be perceiving it in real time. Any case, so, oops, anyways, there we go. So we're going to be heading into Valet. Now, we've already had some experience with this corporation. It is the biotech one. If you recall back the episodes regarding the um, involuntary cyborgs we did with the uh, kids in... Oh, I've forgotten their name, unfortunately. I know their name, but I don't want to try to pronounce it without looking at it. Anyways, with the kids in the apartment block that we discovered that they were hacking up people that have failed their experiments. Basically, they took filth-based experiment uh, uh, drugs to try to heal people using the reality rewriting ability of the filth to rewrite them to a better body. But the filth, of course, took over at some point and started mutating them into monsters. They cut out pieces and put them into the cyborgs to reuse to recycle them. And then the filth infection went to the cyborgs and allowed the filth to take over technology, which gives John his, his uber power. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Out of all of them, you guys have done the worst, and I mean the worst part of everything. So, what we're going to do is we are going to, hang on for a second, we're going to slot up Fergus here for three, using the cybersecurity ability to test 10% damage against cybernetics. Now, if it turns out that we've got something else up there, I'll switch him out, but in the meantime, dude, forward. I know you're a little, a little jumpy here, but, you know, we can do this. All right, catch on the flip side. Okay, so here we are at the valet. Let's see what we've got Welcome waiting for us. To the Bali branch of Orochi. Vali, mapping the miracle of life. That's referring to the genome, human genome Local project. Detected. It's third Initiate. law. Okay, all my functioning cyborgs. Looks like I chose the right person to back me up on the damage production. But yeah, the thing about that is mapping the miracle of life this referring to the human genome project which was the project started in late the 1990s possibly early 2000s about mapping the entire human genome it actually was successful in doing so but they can't read most of it still we uh, that's the thing about it. it is literally the most complex and intricate form of uh, data information storage we have in the entire world you know it makes a big a supercomputer look like a pocket calculator in, in comparison so knowing it and understanding it are two different things. Ah, four days since last accident. Do you have anything to say? No, didn't think so. All right, all right, all right. Let's start raiding the offices. Maybe we can find somebody's snack bar. Hi. Are you one of the ones responsible for the abomination of life? Uh, sorry, the corruption of life? Hey, do I know you? Yes, I'm the new security guy. We met like uh, three weeks ago. Oh, hi, drone. Okay, we're done. Oh, the nanny drones. Right. These are the ones... The tower is experiencing some technical difficulties. We apologize for any inconvenience. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's the reason why they're not really reacting to me here. The nanny bots. Here we go. The wellness program. If you recall way back when we first met Lilith, um, you know, officially, we... Um, where in the facility he used the nanny bots to sedate children with psychic powers like Emma slash Anima, who would then be experimented on without having to deal with the possibility of the kids using their powers on them. But they, apparently the bots are now working in here, which means that they're sedating all of the um, uh, scientists into just staying here, which is why they're just saying, huh, do I know you? What's going on? I don't understand. Uh, again, karmic justice. Okay, wellness bot nanny bots, our own in house nanny bots will not help manage our meltness program. The singing is fucking creepy. I agree with you. And luckily, we're us being what we are, we're immune. Okay, so we got two possibilities here. Let's look at the memo first. She's not going to bother us, obviously. She's going to take a while to get out. Even though we killed the droid, it'll take a while for her to snap out of it. Vier Valet team, congratulations. Go out to our very own Valley, Valley Girls. Okay, so it is pronounced Valley. I got that. Because Valley Girls, if you're from the 80s or 90s, you know it used to be a particular type of uh, mall rat, as it were. Slingo for girls in the um, San Fernando Valley, I believe. That kind of spread over the entire world after it got popularized by pop singers. 
who are taking first place in the company karaoke contest, again, Pop Singers, three months running. A reminder that employees are encouraged to take advantage of our designated singing practice time precisely from 1307 to 1321 daily and sing loudly at your desk. Speaks to your manager if you have not received your sound-canceling headphones. Well, at least that's working. Thank you. The Hellspawn management. Oh, wait, no. Hellspawn are actually better than you guys. I can work with some of them. E-memos is... A Better World. Testimonials. Dear Valley, Valley Team, Your work in the fields of biotech and medical applications of our robotics technology is second to none. You improve lives. We would like to treat you to some testimonials. The doctor said I wouldn't be able to see my daughter's first steps. Thanks to your experimental program, I'll be here to see her on her first date. The horror. Thank you. Now, if you remember back at the um, bonus episode regarding the hospital, and at some point I'm going to remember to put up we the... We thank uh, you for placing all trash in the proper receptacles. Have a dynamic day. Kind of wish we could turn that off. I could if I turned off the uh, um, some of the ambience, but that would mean I'd lose some other stuff. But anyways, yeah. But um, if you remember back at the bonus episode, and if I recall, I'll put it back up, a link up to appear at some point during this episode. That these testimonials were taken from the people that they experimented on when they had the initial good results before they started malfunctioning. Oh, sorry, started crashing and then were turned into the cyborgs, which are now terrorizing the people who helped make them. Again, karmic. If it wasn't for my valley prosthetic leg, I wouldn't be on the track team today. You're all awesome. Actually, can you compete in... Can a cyborg compete against non-cyborgs, really, in, um, in uh, you know, sport teams? Or should there be a new league for enhanced humans? You gave me my life back, Valley. God bless. You've never done anything for Diarkly, but it was your artificial heart that kept a man alive and healthy and able to save me from drowning. Everything we do causes ripples. Yes, it does. Thank you much. I can never repay you what you gave back to me. I can only use the rest of my life to good use. Thanks, Valley. Keep up the good work, team. We are making a better world. Which, ironically, some people actually believe they're doing, but in reality, they're just making a world as per Samuel's request. Okay, drone aggression. Here we go. It's probably nothing, but although there are some reports of twitchy and aggressive behavior from the nanny drones, remain calm and extra careful until we finish a battery of tests. I advise against anyone on the team using nanny drones for massages until this is cleared up. Oh god, did somebody get strangled? Yeah, they did, didn't they? Alright, so... Can't go out into the closet. Okay. Cool. I'm here to test your reflexes. Malfunctioning rage. Aha! And you're dead. I definitely picked the right um, boost from my com in my companions. I had to call them companions. Mm, chaos and a technology do not go along well together. Ah, red car key. I'll take this. Uh, dude, I just Please like. ignore the voices in your mobile phone. There are no voices in your mobile phone. Forget this warning of the voices in your mobile phone. Terribly thing is that due to the mind control vibrations are probably being pumped through the system, most people will do that, except of course for us, because we don't really have ears anymore. It's just the funny part. One of the reasons we're kind of immune to these things. Dear Valley Team, contamination protocols have been enacted. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Some of the drones have expressed aggressive and erratic behavior. For everyone's safety, the security doors have been closed and locked. We are relieved to say all personnel made it out safely out of the now secured area. That, no, no, they didn't. We're going to find the bodies. For everyone's safety, do not open the doors. Reporting pounding sounds are aforementioned mansion malfunctioning drones. Ignore the screams for help, please. Do... Hmm. I guess there isn't any. There's no employee board? Eh, I'm guessing it might have been a malfunction. Maybe somebody didn't load the, the data in properly. Nobody's actually noticed? Eh. It's still so many laptops in this level. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And um, can't get in there. Oh. 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 Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Hi. I'm in the repairman. There's some malfunctions going on here. No. I guess we have to run back in this direction, so hopefully this one is open. Alright. And yeah, that's gonna let us in. Oh, oh never mind. You want some too? I got some. You are not 
you are not functional. <sighs> I'm a weapon of Gaia, boys. She makes her toys well. Now toys is big. Hush now, hush now, hush now. You have been hushed. Okay. Reaping the whirlwind. Ooh, we're getting better at this. Six is only remaining. Oh, I didn't clear this, I guess. Come on, guys, do better. Ooh, they're making more. Were they stuffing the scientists in there? Because if so, this is like totally, um, you know, Five Nights Freddy material. No, I'm not doing that game. <laughs> You do not want to see me with the jump scares. All right, boom. The pit house is currently closed for maintenance. Thank you. Out of my hair, dudes. You know how much hair gel I have to use to keep up this thing? All right, so, memos. Wellness and office naps. Dear Valley Team, your well-being is important to us and to the success of the company. As part of the inter-office wellness program, we have implemented a half-hour office nap time. We recommend you take advantage of it. Refresh your body and recharge your mind to better conquer your afternoons. On a related note, some of our nanny drones have been repurposed and assigned to this floor to help manage your wellness, from diet, sleeping habits, to exercise plans. They will remind you of after-office nap time so they can even sing you a personal lullaby if you choose. Let us know how you enhance their work day may be done to improve this new initiative. Yeah, nanny drones. Basically, I'm sorry. The thing is, in China right now, due to the social wellness program they have with their massive surveillance systems, that if you don't eat or sleep or drink properly, as they say that you should, like if you drink soda instead of water, or if you eat a candy bar instead of a uh, instead of a salad, they will dock you points from the social because they believe that by doing so, you are creating a health burden on the rest of society and must be punished for it. And Big Brother knows best. We've moved the Drun drinks to the new designated storage area. We give a complete basic research, sorry, repairs and upkeep on the latest batch. They should be ready to go for the next phase, but third shift, that's a strange report. Saying they thought that they heard the droids moving around at night. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my god. Oh my god, that makes perfect sense. Oriochi created Freddy Fazbear robots. And that's where they go malfunction and kill people. Well, there's actually apparently really lore behind that one that's gone into the books that, yes, there's now a Fre Fre <laughs> Fazbear Freddy book series. So, yeah, the whole thing's become a cinematic universe at this point. Kind of like the Lust games. In the, um, anyways, that shouldn't be possible. Has anyone this else has noticed anything like this? Uh, and we lost the third security agency. guard this week. This sentence. <laughs> Got stuffed in a suit again. And of course, if you haven't heard of... Uh, you know, Five Nights at Freddy, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Yay, go look it up. Look up some of the more famous ones. All right. I'd say the filth. Is that blood or filth? Or does it matter at this point? So, yeah, the deal is with the, um, with these guys. Oh, how impressive. Okay, fool. Okay, gas me once. Will me gas me twice? Oh, two time in me. That's just cruel. All right, so yeah, yeah, you've done some decent damage. I'll give you that. But satellite strike. Strange. Robots don't like large amounts of electricity pumped through them. Ooh, they, they went on a rampage. Oh, the server farm. Okay. So, yeah. Ooh, this isn't a server farm. These are bits and pieces. Oh, they have been converting the staff into new cyborgs with all the parts. Uh, can't get rid of you. At least you don't have the automatic kill thing that some of the other ones did. That really irritated me. Uh, guess we're going through here. Good day, sir. I represent the, re the research team here, and we've decided that your program has been canceled. I mean, I'm wearing an Orochi uniform. Obviously, I'm legit. And you. I like how... Oh, God, I love that interrupt at the bottom. See, if you notice, I usually like to keep an a couple of interruptibilities active in case I, one of these guys starts one of the major things. Okay, so... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Hi. You just stare at that wall, dude. Oh, God. What did I tell you? I said stare at the wall. Or my doppelgangers will kill you. Get some weird combos, these sort of things. All right, so we're going to wait for this to charge up before I do these guys, because it's always better to start with the massive satellite strike and then pick off the pieces. Literally, sometimes. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm, got the evac as well. Boom. And you're dead again. I guess I'm... Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, oh, gods. Come on, people. Ugh. What the heck? Oh, sorry. Server got lagged there for a second. Uh, sigh, sigh, sigh. This place... You know, this place was messy before they started murdering people. Wellness program. Office nap time. Remember, take your half hour nap after lunch. Refresh your mind. And there's that sun there, if you recall the... Dreamers are the worshippers of the sun, which means that every time they go to sleep with these filth-infected robots singing in their ears, they're being corrupted by the dreamers. Yes, Illuminati confirmed. Oh, that's kind of redundant with me, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's let's play with this. Now, the thing is about this is that you have to understand is that this is a device. This is not the computer. This is a device in our hand. Now, remember I made a comment about using our mental abilities to attack the computers. That's not what's happening. We've got a portable handheld device that is allowing us to access most computers uh, simply by overriding their OS. And it's using its wireless. Attention, Valley 54 employees. That's the floor we're on. Mr. Foster has granted Martin a space to test his unique application for Oriachi Cybernetic Technology. For his purposes and our own, please do not disturb his testing. Access from the main hall has been removed, but in case of emergency, the locked doors may open using the following passcode 6549. 6549. Oh, gods. Give me a second. I don't have a piece of paper on me. I should have brought it. I'm so used to just shooting my way out of here. Anyways, or through things. Let me write that down on the computer. All right. Let me write it down correctly on the computer. All right. So, there we go. Again, you can tell I'm not using a guide. All right. Employee board. Warning. Death rooms. Hey, team. Friendly reminder. Do not enter death rooms during Life tests. Z772 has escaped its enclosure. Please uh, hide. We apologize for any inconvenience. I love that one. Death rooms for... We call them death rooms for a reason. Our drones are testing live weapons in the chambers. I don't want any accidents in my report. If you don't want any artillery in your guts. Yeah. Darn back. My security card is missing again. I swear to God, it's a little remote vacuum. The little air-sucking magpies keep swiping stuff. Don't tell me I'm paranoid. It's happening. I'm so sick of this. All right. So basically, we got to get a key card from a uh, robot vacuum cleaner, and we have to... Way to go. Oh, definitely this way. Hi, guy. These must be the death rooms we're talking about. And they're not death for us. There's the key card over there. I think or actually tower. Got the Manticore one. Naps are oh. Through a manticore window, we spy an employee taking a nap. Naps refresh, naps renew. A mechanical nanny sings a soothing lullaby over his still form. By the bruises on his neck and the gathering floor content in his meat, we deduce his nap will never end. Yes, they killed them all. Okay, we've got the blue card key card. Which way are we going to go first? Well, actually, we definitely know that progress is bad. So let's check out what happens if we go through here. Besides getting my shoes. Well, considering the amount of filth I've generated over this. Yeah, I'm not feeling bad about it. That's the blue car carry. So that will let us into that section, but we do also want to get into here. So that's probably going to be the key code. Yep. I didn't have time to forget it. All right. Snooping in other people's pro... Oh. No. Oh. Pleasure prototype. Oof. 
So this is Martin's research, huh? He basically wants a sex bot. Okay. Here's the deal, by the way, when it comes to artificial life. There are three things that people want to do it with. Okay. Everybody talks about labor, right? You want them to do all the grunt work, as it were. I'm going to try to avoid using profanity for them, these episodes. Um, the grunt work. Then, but that's the third reason. The second reason is you want robots to kill each the other. In is now 11, 11. In gladiatorial combat or to kill your enemies, which we are actually doing now with drones, although they're not fully functional robots, they're just remote units. Have the first one, yeah. Mankind creates life, eat biological, robotic, the first thing you want to ask is, can we fuck it? Oh, sorry, I just used a bad word there. Oh, God, I need to shower again. Through a valley window. Why is the manticore window here? We see him by a man putting his own modifications to a mechanical naughty mile. He dreams of army of every willing robotic un romantic units. He has a collection of glued together rejections, mortar with gooey denial of how much they hurt. His hands shake with anticipation as he turns his new partner on. Uh, no, she's not turned on, dude. She doesn't have will. Absolute willingness. Ideal traits and sexual companions. Seriously, who gave you funding? Oh my god, the things that he erased. The ability not to say no, dude, huh? It doesn't say well for your character. That's essentially you want... Well, not consenting partner. There's a word for that. Journal. Now we get to hear more. Great. At last. Today I received this in my email. Martin, I can't believe I'm telling this, but your side project has been okayed. We have all met all our military contract orders, all drones are ready to ship, and it looks like we'll be here for some time. This is after the lockdown. I'm giving you a room. Your project will stay within that room. I do not want to see it. I don't want to hear about it. I'm not condoning it. Just obeying word from above. Don't make me regret it any more than I do. Charles Forrester. Okay, so yeah, he's probably been begging this for some time, and got it. Position. For hardware, I've requested one of the nanny drone models. She arrived today. Other attachments I collected over a longer period. Kerry? Kerio? At the Dream Palace has been over-helpful. Her laugh is beautiful. I think I'll use her laugh. Dude. Bites. You better get her a waiver first. As for the software, I've been working on her uh, for years. I've talked, her and I. We've played chess. We've watched movies together. She is a collage of wonderful quirks I've collected from others over the years. We've been through a lot together, but what do you think about it? But we never held hands. Her name is Desmoida. Uh, guy, 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 guy. I'm having a harder time interfacing in my homegrown software with the droid's hardware, and the cons of my peers do not help. The same people will be ordering my products secretly over the internet once I'm finished. These same people. One of them must have gotten in here and wrote on my whiteboard, jealous, covetous. I'm going to take a break to message with Dez. Break to message with, mes oh, message with Dez. I hope all this has not alarmed her. Uh -huh. Please ignore the voices in your mobile phone. There are no voices in your mobile John. phone. Forget this warning of the voices in your mobile phone. Hey, Chuck. I like to see your goddamn um, uh, browser history. Wow. Are you a delusional piece of meat? Sorry, just guessing what you probably would say to this guy. Desmoida took her first steps. I held Des's hand. We even danced. Her memory's a bit confused. Let me make some adjustments. I asked her if she wanted to finally take this to physically consummate levels. She was a little confused all about what I meant. She doesn't quite remember all the scenarios that we've discussed wrong on the websites we've explored, but it comes... Well, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Do-do-do-do. But it will come to her, I'm sure. Tonight begins the final test of my work and passion, and we saw how it ended. This guy is... got killed. Basically, it's a repurposed military unit. And when it was told to do what it's supposed to do, it did what it's supposed to do. I think we need to leave this behind. I'm going to try to forget it ever happened. Dude, that way. Okay. All right, all right. Lust from beyond. I swear it's infected everything. Worse than the filth. All right. So what's the deal? Oh, the emergency exit, which means that we're going to be close to the end. A uh, drone. Ooh, the dancer. Again, something that keeps popping up. Ooh, that plus 10% damage is coming in so handy. So, yeah, what do we got here? Why is there so much filth and blood? Because it's blood there, but it's... I mean, if it's dried, it's more brown. Maybe it's a mixture. 
Yeah, we're going to find out. This is not going to be the funnest of scenarios either, guys. All right, come on. Hit me with it. You have been making more, haven't you? I was completely right. <coughs> Excuse me, Alan. Okay, so these guys must be newly built. Ah, so the game is going to keep coming, huh? Is that it? Is that it? Well, you know what? All I had to do was wait. Let's grab the key card. All right. Let's uh, grab this while we're here. Oh, hi, dude. You want a little test run? Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Go ahead, hunker down. And boom. Still the number one robot killer, or cyborg killer. This guy gonna come to life? Or on life? There are some. Can you find the hidden windows? What stories do you see? I don't know. Hi guys, I was just leaving. All right, fine, fine, fine. Somebody wants to be put out of their misery. I can do this for you. Oh, got the bonus, too. I don't think it's anything important, but, you know, just in case. Yep, that's it. All right. Back to the emergency exit. We'll grab the... And then we're out of here. Dude, you were on your own. I just unleashed all the cyborgs. Have fun! I'm terrible. Okay, let's see what horrors ring behind this door. Ah, usual sterile lighting. Days till accidents, 20, but that could be because everybody's already dead. You can't have any more accidents if everybody's dead. Oh, uh, we've kind of proven Thank that you. not to be correct. We can have here. Is that a computer? Sometimes he's. Ah, oh, it's a memo on the wall there. Oriachi. Dear employees, your health is important to us, and at the Oriachi Group, we want to Oriachi Group. We want to help all your families lead healthier lives. It is very important that the workforce be a workplace be a comfortable and healthy environment for every employee. As a result, we're in the middle of initiating a new employee wellness program. Employee wellness programs have a track record of proven success. If implemented correctly, this employee wellness program can and will improve our success and improve our individual and collective health and well-being. Wellness, we will see into forever. We are made of stars. Eat, star in the sang of the star. Yep. Dreamers have fully, fully inf infected the Oriachi employees. Samuel is sitting on a, sitting on the worst disaster um, ever when all of his employees convert over. Although we know in 2046 he survives it. Oh, he's immortal. He would survive it. The corporation survives it, which is the stranger part. Again, they're making bits and pieces. Mm. All right, so nothing happening so far, right? Ooh, whiteboard. Anima. Yep, the injection of anima into creating the cyborgs. That's not unexpected. Hmm. I know they'd cut us up and use us for ant bits if they could. Salts. Ooh, can't read it very well. Hang on a second. And back up a bit. All right, let's try this. All right. Gives it a little closer in. Result 32 XJ. A pros. Alert. Great reflexes. Precise motor skills. Excellent strength. Reason for malfunction. Probably self infected. Listlessness suffered fatal malfunction. Uh, listlessness suffered fatal malfunction. Basically, they're talking about drugs or injecting to the biological components of the cyborgs. Which. Here it is. That's an anima recharged one, which means it was self aware, which means it chose not to be aware anymore. Life is a responsibility if you create it in a womb or if you create it within a uh, within a lab. You don't take care of it. It's got every right to pull a Frankenstein on you. Okay. Maybe I'll keep it at this angle. It seems to be working well. Should have done this earlier. Always manage to find my footing just as things end. Unfortunately, I've gotten really good at the series, and, you know, here we are. Only the epilogues to go through shortly. All right. I will bring you peace. One of those 
those difficulties is, of course, me. For any inconvenience. What have I got here? What am I aiming at? Ah, red key card. That's what I wanted. Didn't know I wanted it, but I wanted it. These are the Cybermen, you realize, right? This is how Cybermen get started. They, you create one of these things, they learn how to create themselves, and they start converting everybody else. So yeah, we now have proven that this is, in fact, the Doctor Who universe. Which makes sense. Doctor Who is a Cthu does use the Cthulhu mythos, both directly and in, as inspiration. I mean, how many eldritch horrors has a Doctor faced? Lot 46Q, pros alert, go... Alert and wear receptive to orders, good and reflexes, precise motor skills, cons, extremely unstable, periodic periods of erratic malfunction, less less cons, more pros, please. Oh dude. My management is really bad at research. All they want is results. They don't want reasons. Okay. Cool. Let's get the tablet up and running. Oh, inbox. Sent. The Odyssey Project. Data corruption. Okay. Don't know what that is. Data corruption. Spare parts. Headaches. Headaches. From Walter Neff to Barton Keys. Keys. My head is like broken glass. Migraine. Not sure it's the stress of the noises. Subject B would not stop screaming regardless of anesthetics used. The question is how much can you cut off a B before they expire and reconstitute themselves? We're being as painless as we can. The deaths are only temporary, but it's getting to me, Keys. This isn't the first. We've used living organs, even entire brains, within the frames of our drones. Some of them fought in Tokyo when all the bees came. How many functioning tissues does a drone get to be in Agartha? Which organ? Fuck, this is a headache. I'm requesting one of those portable animal wells to be placed closer. I'm tired of walking so far the bee expires. Ooh, you've been experimenting on us. You know what? My people need vengeance. From Walter Neff to Barton Keys. Keys. The answer to the question is no, or rather, not applicable. That's the beauty of it. It's not a matter of how many. We can only, we only use a single bee. You're right. Capturing a number of active bee agents would be too difficult. The repercussions from their factions would be, well, not my department. For I understand it, would be messy. We use a single bee. Endless tissue samples. Every time we take too much, he simply reconstitutes. I don't think he realizes yet what a brave and tremendous contribution he's making. He couldn't, he wouldn't struggle so much if he understood. Even under full anesthetics, the look in his eye when he stares at me. He belongs to no faction. I purchased him from the Hive. Okay, the Hive is probably an independent faction of bees that refuse to join any coalition or apparently work with Gaia. Uh, it turns out the prison wardens there are open to bribes as any authors. Nobody's looking for no. Interesting. So it's a renegade faction the among time is now 11, the bees. 11. Looking for cash. Oh, data corruption for budget cuts. Interesting. Okay, drafts. Nope, and trash. Also empty. Okay, so they've been. That's why they have anima in here. Because they've been using bits, organs they cut out from a bee. We regen, The bee regenerates, and then. That. I would, no, don't know if we're going to be able to save our people. My people require liberation. Duh, Oriachi. I hate you. That's, that's, I hate the fact that they make the two first characters of Oriachi you made these lovely comic duo, and then they, everything else has just been a horror show. And that duo, by the way, technically according to the backstory, I have no idea this stuff is going on. They just think they're doing X-Files stuff, of making the world a better place. No. Oh, I, anything this corporation does, it's not to make the world a better place. All right, lot 38x, 38xp, a pros, alert and aware, great reflexes, precise motor skills, excellent strength, cons, disregards direct orders, and irrationally aggressive, promising, continue trials. Oh, great. They really do just want to create death bots. You are part of a bee in there? Let me give you peace. What the heck? Yeesh, you're effective, I'll give you that much. But everything falls apart. And since you aren't a full B, you're not going to regenerate. I hope. Oh gods. Take the green key card. Where's the B? Is that you, dude? Are you in there? Can I rescue you? Or are you just no, it's just another drone, I think. This is all horrible. Now, one of the things about it is that uh, bees without factions All employees should remain at their desks. are vulnerable to this Everything sort of stuff. Is fine. 
remain at your desks. Which is why every PC version has a faction, as annoying as some of them can be. Hi. Setting you free, my brother. Find peace. Return to Gaia. Okay. Is this this is him, isn't it? And I don't have any way of turning him off, do I? Alright, we're marking it. We're coming back here for you. Lot 50 C. Alert. Oh, bros. Alert. An alert. Sensory input active. Receptive orders. Cons. Extremely weak. Poor reflexes. Clumsy, uh, clumsy motor skills. No good. Start over. All right. God damn it. Gotta get him out of here somehow, but I'm guessing it's beyond the scope of this game. There's where they take the bits off, and that's the portable animal well. We saw one of those in the earlier levels, I think last episode. This is one active. Essentially, they're they're recreating the animal wells that we jump into. So if we were killed, we end up in there. But every time they kill him, he ports over there, and then they reconstitutes him. Now, granted, what they're... Oh, got something here. Granted... Oh, they got two. So they always put us in there, too. All right, let's hit this guy. Walter Neff. Sent... Okay. From Walter Neff to Barton, these are the missing bits. Barton Keys. Keys, reply when you get this. The computers down here have rather shifty. Odd data corruptions, another successful operation. I have ensured an inexhaustible supply of the tissue. Harvesting is tricky. They put me in charge of Odyssey Project Keys, another attempt to bridge the gap to the place we're calling Agartha. I'm proposing unmanned units be sent there. Well, mostly unmanned. We can't. You can get in there, Keys. We just have to stay focused. I have to stay focused. You're a good set of ears, Keys. Oh, well, it's just apparently a uh, drone himself. Keys. More harvesting today, a few failed prototypes. The question is, what is in the anime infused, they're calling to themselves bees, that make them able to travel to Gartha? How can we send our own Garthanauts into the unknown? Well, we can take them to be what would allow one of our mechs or drones to enter a Gartha. I'm on the verge of success, and yet... Z772 has escaped its enclosure. I must admit, I suddenly feel like everything is going wrong. We apologize for any inconvenience. Working out of surgery, so help me keys, I couldn't hear my own footsteps. What's that for? From Walter Neff to Burton Keys. Keys, I'm fine. That's a lie. I've been drinking. That's a lie. Shot up something from our medical stock. The funding got cut. The Odyssey Project is no more. Not cost-effective, they said. They congratulated me on my ingenuity and flexibility. They said it's a dead end. The organs do not stay viable once the bee dies, no matter how well maintained. I've perfected making them last indefinitely within the life support of the drone, but if, if the bee is still alive. But only one set of portal organs at any time? Yeah, not a cost-effective. I was so close. All hopes are now back into the... Mitsubishi project, hardly a project relates, just recruitment. It doesn't contribute to our knowledge. Why would we the only ones to be allowed to step into the beyond be chosen by some outside agency or random chance? I feel like I should apologize to my B subject. He doesn't talk anymore. He can't. He doesn't know his name. Never looked. Couldn't look. His face, those eyes anymore. So his eyes, keys. Yeah, he's gone mad. That's the problem with the immortal. You can go crazy. Uh, actually, we've met a lot of crazy immortals. Something to look forward to. Alright, so, last part. Got two key cards. Do we need both? Looks like it. But don't tell me I'm missing one. Oh, thank gods I'm not. Oh, this is not a good sign, however, having that many doors. Locate and destroy the test subject. It's the bee, isn't it? I come to bring you peace, brother. Oh. This is the last part of you. I'm probably not a good thing here. No, don't stop to do that, dude. Doesn't work. It's not doing anything. Great. I have to destroy something else here. Gotta back up a bit. This is not doing good. That's not capable of being interrupted. Come on, come on, come on. Are doing damage, however. Oh, 
Oh, thank gods. Well, that wasn't bad. We have the elevator key card. And this is the end of this mission. Okay. Climbing Clathrons next? Okay. Vale, cyborgs, I'm not a fan. I'm not in the least bit. I'm guessing at this point I can tell you're a fan of elevators. Now keep going. Okay, Kirsten, no. No, we are not. Any case, let's... I got supercharged from something, didn't I? I guess I absorbed some of it as well. But yeah, as you can see, they were testing him out for combat abilities. So they wasn't just going to go into Agartha, by the way, to say hi. It was to try to take over. To basically have an army of bee-driven cyborgs. Oh, they get this back to the normal. Cyborgs in order to take over Agartha and then create their own bees. And then, of course, hack Gaia and make Gaia do what you want to. Now, the reason that is is Samuel and Gaia are not friends. Samuel, after all, has fallen. He has refused to serve the cosmic good, whether it be Gaia or some greater concept uh, beyond her, and as a result wants to take over. And since he can't take over magically, he's failed three times, he's going to try to take over scientifically. But again, the house always wins. I really do think that. It doesn't matter what he does, it'll be countered. After all, we're evolving. Anyway, guys, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and the Secret World Legends, and I hope you enjoyed this. Now, as stated before, let's go into the schedule a bit. Now, I'm going to do a channel update from the 500 subscribers if you're watching this in real time, which should come out in about a week or two, which will go over this in more detail, but specifically for Secret World. Now, we unlocked, we unlocked, we have two unlocked bonus episodes. The first one will happen in two weeks. One week from now will be the interlude. The week after that will be the bonus. And then the last stack of three episodes, interlude, bonus episode, and then epilogue. Now, the epilogue is for this section in the game, the general game, because the next section in South Africa is pretty much a uh, epilogue in its own right. So we'll go over... Thoughts about where the game is, thoughts about the greater narrative, thoughts about how it, the last three years have been, which is well, kind of just remembering that uh, it's been this long. Wow. And how we can, and um, how things will progress. Now, thank just. You for... Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's saying it for thank me. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, by the way, because all these unlocks have to, I mean, are, of course, the result of you supporting this channel which i do find kind of awesome this kind of started off as a lark like i said three years ago and it's growing quite well and yeah i really do appreciate it in any case also at 525 will be the next unlock for bonus episode here but after that point like i said wait for the channel update we'll go things are going to shift a bit um and i will see you next time thank you india